Bravo! Official world champ of stunt riding, the legend. Rafael, why are you not competing, man? Ah, uh, because I'm retired. Re I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I, mean, <laughs> I don't I mean, like this joke, man. I mean, I got a break right now uh, because I had some injuries. So, so I need to take it easy, and uh, it's always a great opportunity to just to be a judge and see other riders other riders. riding. Yeah, yeah. Get some motivation. Hell yeah, and it's inspiration. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Respect, man. Thank you. My eyes were here on the mirror. I was like, what the? Uh, how is this possible, man? You gave me so much motivation. What I like, it's not always the hardest trick, but how you connect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really, respect. The cool thing with the competition. Yeah. You have to make your own choreography. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly like you want to. What would you say to my fans? What is the most important if you go to competition? Competition for me is 70% mental and 30% physical okay. bike performance. So it's more in, more about the head, not about the performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I understand. My first competition, I was only stressed and I did all the possible mistakes what you can do. So head is the most important. Yeah. Do you have some advice how to focus, how to make some exercises? Of course, you need to come here prepared. You yeah. don't come here to train or you come here to make your run. You come and you're, you're ready to go. So you do the homework at home yeah. and then you show what you can do. Yeah, here. this is payday. Okay, this is payday. So guys, yeah. if you go to competition, prepare at home. Here's the payday. Rock and roll. Rock on. Crashing is the part of the stunt game, right, Edu? Yeah. What was the problem yesterday? Why you crashed, man? Honestly, the problem was the floor. You know, sometimes we go to compete to some places that the floor is not so good. Yeah. And I didn't realize that it was a hole in the middle of a the hole. Yeah. So hole. the bike. Yeah, I was with, with my bike breaking in the wheelie. Okay. And I take the ball and I can do nothing about it. The bike was brand new yesterday. Today it looks like a stunt bike. You don't give up, right? Yeah, for sure. I just fixed the bike and I hope to make a good round, for sure. Okay, That's why let's I'm here. do this, man. That's good luck. Good luck, Thank you, man. Rock and roll, man. Enjoy the winning run of Mike Jensen. Mind-blowing win.
winning run. This is not the dude in the corner. Uh, all the riders are still alive. Let's show some crashes, okay? Let's show you have some crashes? Of course. Okay, let's show some crashes. <laughs> Lunch is done, we are full again, long day behind us but exciting day, so now it's a prize giving, uh, so we're gonna see who is the second and who is the third, and yeah, so Tell let's go. Us why you don't compete. <laughs> why I don't compete, man. <laughs> Two reasons. First one, in European competitions they don't have a low class for uh, small CC bikes. For example, I cannot compete with my 200 Duke. And the big class, my 690 Duke doesn't fit really to this big class. That's the reason I don't compete for now. But uh, KTM just brought out the 790 Duke with two cylinders. Maybe this is gonna be the bike for the future. Let's see. Motivation overload. Competition is over. The stunters killed it, man. A lot of new tricks. Man, it's. I don't have words. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the kind of a different vlog again with some uh, stunt riding information so you see how the stunt competitions are working. And that's it. We need to continue our trip to Valencia. So let's hit the road. See you soon. Until then, rock on.